Okay, I'm back. I got a, got a drink, so now I can talk. You guys can listen to me ramble here while I'm showing you how to do drum brakes. Now, after final on that, I got that to fit in there nice, neat. It's sitting there nice and flush. Now we can go ahead and put the screws back in there. And um, tighten them up to bolt the uh, wheel sleeve in there. So it looks like that's what, what I had to do on mine. Um, you guys might have to do that. You might not. It's hard to say. And generally, most of you guys will have to look to put these bolts back in. I can, I'm trying to get it started. This one side just doesn't want to go in there straight. Maybe I just need to... Seems like when I put the uh, bolts in there, it doesn't want to quite go in there. There we go. Just a little bit of tapping. Still, I guess, a little bit tight. Probably file it a little bit more. Don't fit better. That's what it looks like. I need to do probably. Well, the bottom's in there. Yeah, see so that one side's not sitting kind of flush. So. What I probably should do is take it back out and file it more, but it looks like it's sitting in there actually pretty good. Oops, I'm just gonna... Sorry guys, you guys are seeing my arm, not what I'm doing. There we go, now you can probably see what I'm doing better. So, you just have to keep filing it some until you get them to where it wants to fit nice. So, I probably should have filed it a little bit better, but it seems to be going in once I tapped it in a little bit with my hammer ratchet. <laughs> and you're not supposed to use a ratchet as a hammer, guys. Okay. But it happens. So, now you got your new sleeve installed. Um, once you get the slave installed, then you can go in and put your, these guys back in. Uh, what I'm going to do is just wire brush a little bit before I put it, put it back in. I if I can find that little wire brush. Just get the dirt off it. Everything works better when it's clean. So you take these guys, and they go, they're gonna hold that, so they gotta go that way. So you push them in there. And just try to get the dust off it and dirt off it. And you probably put it back together without doing it. But I don't like putting stuff back together dirty. So, so you take them shove them in the, the brake and in there the seal that's there holds these in so they kind of stay so now your next thing that you can do is you can put a shoe on you want to put a shoe on there and get one shoe on so take one of your shoes say okay this shoe will go here like so you know we'll sit up in there let me set that down there. Let me open my, my brake kit here. Let's see what we got in this kit. Right. Okay. So, with my brake kits, they got. I'm looking at the serial number. One's got an L at the end. One's got an R. And then it's just got one bag with all the springs and stuff in it. Okay. So the springs, you got to open up. But this is all the stuff for the left side. It looks like for, the, you know, the brake adjuster and all that stuff. 
So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take one of my other boxes I got, and I'm going to open the box with all the springs in it and dump them out into a box. And then the other thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take this kit with has all that brake stuff in it. Which actually I don't think I need that quite yet because that's for that's all stuff on the other caliper. So what you can do now is you can take your this pin, check it to your old pin, make sure they're the same length, which they are. And then I can take let's see here, one of these caps. Now you take a cap and the pin, you set them down, your new cap and pin. Now what you want to do is you want to look at your springs. The kit comes with a couple different springs for holding the, uh, the shoe on. So you want to get the spring that matches your spring, okay? So that spring is not the right spring. It's short, it's not designed the same. So you go to this spring. Okay, well that spring's just a, a hair longer, which would make sense because it's been compressed. This spring, the old spring's been compressed. It's probably weak. So you look at that spring. That's even designed the same. See that? The top of it and the bottom of it. So there's your spring that matches the one. So you want to make sure you get a spring that matches your other one. And with this one, you can see it's narrowed there with that there. So you want to Push your cap into it, get it caught. Okay, that's caught now. Now what you can do is you can take this and you can start to put that on there. Now what you want to do is make sure that there is caught on that. If this doesn't get aligned into that hole, your rear brake won't work. So make sure that's aligned there like so. And then you can take your pin, your new pin, Push it through the back side. Whoops, I dropped it. I'm trying to keep it so you guys can see what I'm doing here. Take it through the back side, push it through the hole for the pin on the back side, and put it through the hole on that side, like so. Whoops. I know it's kind of fun to keep everything aligned. And then you could take that and push that over top of it, like so and just kinda use your one thumb to hold it for the moment while holding the pin in. And then you take your, this is what, another place this tool comes in handy. So you could take your tool and you could push it and get it kinda caught and go through there, rotate it, and there you go. Now it's holding that on. Now you can check and make sure everything's where it's supposed to be aligned and sitting make sure it's all sitting like it's supposed to like that so so now you got the one shoe on there with it held it on so you're good now the next thing you got to do if you want you can get your bottom spring the bottom spring so I saw this spring this, this is your bottom spring you can go through and you can find what the other spring looks like. So let's set that down. And let's take that off. I look in my kit. That spring looks exactly the same. So there's my spring. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to hang that spring on there like it was. So that way it's, it's there. I know which spring goes to that. I'm going to hook this old one back onto this. I'm gonna set that back under there. I'm gonna, I can take my old clip and I can just set it with the old shoe um, and set the pin there too. Just to keep them off to the side, they're still there, so if I wanna look at it, I can make sure I'm going good. Now, let's open, let's go through and open this, let's look at this bag and try to get this bag opened up and build up my other shoe. 
because there's some stuff you got to do some assembly see i'm gonna get this ready like this Let me build my new one up because here's my other new one so i'm gonna take a minute and build that up um, let me try to position this so you guys can see what i'm doing here okay so now um see how that's all set in there i'm gonna go ahead and open this bag I'm going to take my other junk bag so I can dump everything out on the floor and I can see what I got so I don't lose anything. So I can see all my parts here. So there's all my... Oh, you really can't see the parts. There we go. Now I got my parts laid out so I can more or less see what I got. So let's look at this here. Okay, so this piece is this piece right there. So that matches that. You can see it looks like they got this sitting on top of that. Let's see if I can pop that out of there to see because there's a washer here. So maybe there's the washer underneath. Let's see if there is one. Let's take that out. We'll set that there for a minute. There's not a washer underneath of it. But I would think that would go like that as a spacer washer. Like that. So, uh, what I'm going to do real quick, I'll be right back. I'm going to go get some, um, some stuff so it doesn't stick. Okay, I got the stuff so it doesn't stick. What I'm using here is I'm going to use some uh, copper anti-seize on it just to make sure i mean you probably don't need it there's probably better stuff out there and if you guys think there's something better to use on that than the copper and i sees hey post up tell me um i'm always game to learn new stuff just be nice about it that's all this is what i got handy so that's what i'm going to use i like using the copper and i sees on a lot of stuff because it works good so so what i'm gonna do is i'm just gonna take a little bit put a little bit on that just to make sure. Actually, it looks like I might need some new copper anti-seize. It looks like it's dried up some. But it'll still work. So I'm going to take just a little bit, put it, put it around that. And then just slam that on there. And then that looks like, from looking at this old one, it looks like it's in that hole there, which there, which would be that hole. So it helps us have that the right way. So that looks like it goes right there. Okay. So let's take let's take this now. Let's look at this. This is my brake thing. I'm just gonna wire brush that real quick, just to knock the dirt off it. Okay, so that there hooks up into there, which hooks up, which this is the old shoe, it hooks right there. See, it kind of goes like that and just kind of hooks in there for your parking brake. So let's take this old shoe, we'll set it over there. And that looks like it goes right there like so. Let's set that down. And now let's go through and find the pin that goes, that holds it up. Let's tilt that back up. Um, let's see if I can set this over here so you guys can see on this side now what I'm working on here. Okay. So I'm going to find the pin that goes in this hole, which I have setting over here. Here's this setup here. It this is a short spring it looks like with a cap and here's my pin there we go so let's look at my new stuff i got and look it's here's the uh 
the short spring I had earlier, which actually matches this side. And here's my cap for it. So we're gonna pop that in there. Okay, okay. And now let's just match up my pins. Let's make sure the pins are the right length, which they're the same length. So now I got all that. So let's take that pin, let's push it through there for the moment. Um, when I took this off, I had the one the one spring hooked there. So I'm going to go ahead and just hook that on there for now to try to make my life easier so I don't have to try to stretch that bottom spring to get it on there. And then we'll put this in there later. I think I can, I can move it around and pop that in once it's all up. We'll see. Oh, the other thing is, don't forget your parking brake cable. You got to hook that up. So let me set that there. Let's take the park and brake thing. Let's hook that back up. Um, so that's going to sit that way like that in there. So before I go, let's hook that up. One of the things that I love the most about working on these things is trying to get that park and brake cable in. Now, yeah, you should, usually you can't pull them like that, but my cable is disconnected because of the uh, fact my other, my other side cable is broke. So it's disconnected already. So, um, so that seems like that's going to be right. That's going to go there like that so let's now take this took that back into that hopefully hopefully I can without an issue and we'll see maybe if I took that back off I can hook that back in there okay and then let's hook that on there let's swing that up Let's see here, let me go up here and pull that parking brake cable a little bit and try to get it where it's going to be making my life just an easy, leave it easier. Let's take a... Shove it up there maybe. Okay, so now that I made everything fall apart again, Let's see if I can now put this in here. Let me try to get someone to wedge that cable a little bit. That's all the problem. With no tension on it, it's not holding that cable in. So it's making things be just a wee bit difficult. So I'm going to try to get something to wedge that cable when I pull it. As you guys can see. I can't really get the cable wedged like I would like. So we're going to see what we can do here anyway. So let's try to get this thing put back together. I guess I did get it kind of wedged, so that works out good. 
So, I don't know if you guys can really see what I'm doing here. Let's try to reposition this just a wee bit better there. And try to keep it so you guys can see it. So then we're going to take that and put that over top of that, like so. And then, again, like I said, this is where these tools come in handy. So you can put them on there and push. And get that caught, like so. Then it kind of holds everything. That's where this comes in handy. And with that tool, that tool, with having a big open side, it works pretty good. It works a little bit better, I think, than this one. Because the side's not as opened as much. So, let me set this back here. There we go. Okay. So now, I got that in there. I can go like that. And then we can kind of get, there we go, get that lined up up there and get the shoe slit more into place. I'm going to try to pop this parking brake cable back. There we go. Okay. Okay, so... Now, we have to install the rest of the parts here. So, what we got now is we got this thing that we have to install still. We have this piece. We have this spring. And we have the adjuster still that needs to go in. So, let's, um, and we still need to put one more spring in. We still need to put, um, let me see here, let me compare it. We have the part for the adjuster here. Let me see here if I could try to get some more light. There we go, this might work better. We have the metal clip. I'm sorry guys, let me try to get this position so you guys can actually see the light. So you guys can understand. I'll put that back there. So, we still have this metal clip here and this spring that was hooked up to it. Now, let me set this clip down. Let's find the spring. My kit came with a nice, nice new white one. So let's set this out here. That clip went that way. That spring went there. And we still have this, this guy, which is this nice, pretty blue one that they came with, which goes on the other side of that. Which then we have this that goes there. We have this spring, which still needs to be installed, which goes on this rod here, which I screwed up because I forgot to put it on. So we'll have to see if I can wiggle that on real quick. So let's take the old spring off. Let's put this new spring on. Let's see if I can wiggle it in here and get it situated without having to. Yeah, it'll do it. <laughs> so that will go just like that in there. slide that back up into place try to get that situated okay 
Okay, so, now, everything's still moving around. Now, it's still moving around because we don't have the springs in place. So, let's put this back on there. And we can put the upper springs in. I'm just wire, wheel, wire brushing that real quick. So, sorry guys, it's going to be a long video on this, but we'll see what we can do. Probably make two videos, one disassembly, one assembly. Um, so we're gonna put that back up there. That goes right there to hold that. Let's put this blue spring back on here. That goes, that spring just kind of hooks. You take this hook, and take this, this hook, that hook, and it goes there. You put the hook in there like so, and you tilt it like that. And it hooks on there. You take that back off. There you go. So, let's go ahead and take that. Hook that on there like so. Now, as you can see, it just, just doesn't pull. This is where another good place, this tool here. This, this one tool I showed before, this guy, comes in handy. Because you can take this. Actually, I think that was on second so let's put before I put that on let's hook this all back up here so that went on to that like that which went on to that guy there that went there which you got to push up and try to hook that on to that okay This spring goes into there, and then that's got to get hooked, stretched on to them too. As you guys can see, it's got to get hooked that way. So I'm kind of set that down for a minute. I'm going to see if I can get this hooked maybe. Maybe I can hook that like that. We'll see how this works. Like that. Like I said, that's where this comes in handy. See how it's designed? You can do stuff like that and get that hooked back up. So that will hold that there. Okay, so now I can hook. Now I can wiggle this up here. Get that kind of in position. Now let's put this, this spring on there. So you can take your your tool, put it over top, like so. Take your finger, just make sure not to get hooked. And you get it on there like so. So now, we're almost done. We got our springs on, we got all the top springs on, but we still don't have our, our adjuster in, and we need to put that in. So, um, you gotta, look at that and make sure you put your adjuster in the correct way you can orient the adjuster forward to aft or you can orient it that way this one i believe came out like that um so that would go in there i think it went like that let's just go take a look at the other side like i was saying this is where it's nice to have both sides together you can look back at your pictures or you can look back at your your other other side and for me i'm just gonna walk over here move some stuff out of the way i'm sorry for this guys i gotta clean this place i never do so you can see on on this one the adjuster i can't really tell too much but it is aft so we're gonna go ahead and put that one aft Okay, so let's set this down here. Maybe maybe you guys can see it then. So, um, before I go ahead and put this in, what I'm going to do is take this cap off. And I'm just going to put some anti-seize on this cap. Just because it sits in there and I don't want it to get stuck. That, that I don't know if it has any grease on it, but I'm going to unscrew that. 
just because that's what I like to do. I'm gonna unscrew that and just coat that with anti-seize, grease, whatever, just to, I don't want it to seize up. So I'm gonna screw that back in now that I got that coated. Do, 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 do. Keep screwing that back in. Okay, so now I can put that back on there. Put that in there. Pull that apart a little bit. Get that caught there, like so. So now the last thing we gotta do is put this, this plate back in. The plate was sitting like so. That's why it's nice to lay out your parts on how they came apart. Because I can look at it and go, okay, this one's sitting like that. So then, oops. What you got to do is take this and see if you can slide that up there. Yeah, like that. That goes there. And then you got to take the spring and put the spring in there. So what that does there is that hooks onto this piece like so and it allows it to adjust the brake somehow. How it does it I don't know but it does it. So I guess well, maybe it's supposed to go that way like that. Let's see here. Yeah, that would make sense. And then you gotta just get the spring kind of shoved in here. Best as one can do. I'll have to go look at that side and see. Let me go look at that. See, I'm wondering if that's supposed to hook like that. Because that's what it kind of seems like. But see, I look at this one. It doesn't... Yeah, it was. You can see it. You can see the outline. Right there. So yeah, it's supposed to hook like that. So, so then you got to just get the spring worked in there. That's the fun part, which maybe the brake spoon will come in handy, even though it's not meant for that. Might have been easier to maybe put that in there first. There we go. And it's all assembled now. So that's how you assemble your rear brakes. So... I'm going to go through, as you can see, that's how it, it all came apart, and it all goes back together. So that's how you put your rear brakes back together on your um, Camaro. So, yep. So this place here, this plate, you got to make sure, though, it is where it's supposed to be. So, um, you can see right there, it's nice and smooth. Sometimes you can get them things off, but usually if you do, the springs don't fit. And make sure you got your spring back on there to keep your one of your alignment tabs. Double check, make sure your pins are in there on both of them. Back in there. Because if the pins aren't there, when you push the brake, it's not going to work. So how this works is when you push the brake, this, these, both of these sides push, they push out. They go like that. So when they push out, they push both top parts out up against it. This bottom here is your adjustment to keep the bottom out separate more from each other. That's your auto adjuster there, which works by this, this rod here. So that way you can put your disc on there, adjust it out with the brake spoon, which I was using to install the spring. So you could take your, your um, through your disc, or not disc, I'm sorry, through your um, drum, reach for the drum and you turn that which adjusts this out and that's your auto adjustment to keep it adjusted so that's why they come with this little thing here because it goes in the outside of the drum um so but yeah that's how you do the rear drums on it um i'm going to show you guys in a later video i ordered the part i had to order one cable for the other side so one cable is broke so i'm going to show you guys how to install the new cable on the other side you can buy a whole kit and do both of them. Um, 
do both rear cables and the front cable if you want to pull apart your console. If you're restoring a car, I would suggest putting new cables in all around. If you're just trying to make your parking brakes work and you got one broken cable like I got, and I didn't, please don't take this the wrong way, I didn't want to spend 100 bucks on parking brake cables today. So I spent um, $15 and I bought an AC Delco cable from Amazon. Um, I could have bought a Ray Betts, which probably makes a cable for AC at Delco. They were $10. They look like the same cable. Um, but I'm probably going to get a Chinese made cable either way. But I figure I'll at least put the AC Delco on it and keep going with all the AC Delco parts I'm putting in here. Um, but I'll show you guys how to change that, how to adjust it, how to set it up. That'll be something I'll show you guys once I get the cable and do the other side. So, um, with that being said, the list of tools I needed was I need a wire brush, I need a metal file, I needed this, a uh, brake um, spoon, then I needed a 7 16 socket, which worked that. Um, needed some anti-seize. Needed your tool for that, just to make your life easy. You can do it with pliers, but you just slip off and hurt yourself half the time. So go to the auto parts store, buy one of these. Buy a brake spoon if you don't have one, you're going to need it for adjustment. Buy one of these tools. They have the cheap ones like this, the auto craft ones. You can buy one of them. It will work just as good. And then buy um, one of the spring wrenches which has the ends like that so you can hook them slide them and all that stuff so that's pretty much right there is the tools that you that i needed to do this um you're going to need some different tools for doing a cable if you got to do a cable but that's pretty much all i really needed to do this here so well anyway thanks for watching guys please like subscribe comment follow um, I'll be trying to show more stuff like this with this car. Um, if you guys have any questions, please feel free to ask. Um, I'll try to figure it out. And, um, you know, even like this stuff, it's even though I took it apart, I was stumped because of how it popped apart. I don't think it was put together right, but you can get looking at it and you can see exactly where that was sitting. And that makes sense now that I'm looking at it with it being that way. They probably didn't have it together right. Um, when you take stuff apart, don't always assume it was assembled correctly because not everybody assembles everything correctly. Um, I might even have assembled something backwards, but I don't think I did, but it's possible. So if I did put something together wrong, guys, hey, tell me. Um, I don't know everything. I'm not an expert at Camaros. This is the first Z28 Camaro I've dealt with. Um, I know some Corvette stuff, so I'm used to doing that stuff. Um, but anyway, yeah. Hey, anyway, enough rambling. Please like, comment, subscribe. And, um, you can see how good this paint shines up. Look at that. It's nice and sunny outside. Hey, y'all have a good Thanksgiving. So I'll catch up with you later.